Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. OTM, the leading travel show in Asia. Goodbye pandemic, we are back was the apt opening comment made by the Maldivian tourism minister at OTM, Mumbai's full-scale edition at the brand new Geo World Convention Center. OTM is the leading travel trade show in Asia. OTM 2023 showcased more than 1250 exhibitors from 50 countries and 30 Indian State Union Territories. It was voted the number one travel trade show of India. The venue, Geo World Convention Center, was acclaimed by all the exhibitors and visitors to be of highest international standards, perhaps the newest and the best in the world. Let's show you glimpses of OTM 23. <laughs> OTM 2023, the leading travel trade show of Asia, was hosted at the brand new Geo World Convention Centre, Mumbai, by Fairfest Media Limited, organisers of India's oldest and biggest travel trade show network. Geo World Convention Centre's facilities are simply world class and unmatched in India. Moreover, its location at BKC, at the heart of Mumbai, the largest travel market in India, was hailed by all as the top exhibition venue in the country. The three-day long event in Mumbai received an overwhelming response from the visitors. During the pandemic, travel industry went through a huge shock and this OTM is a proof that we are uh, we bouncing back. The travel industry has bounced back. The idea is that look, this travel trade come and interact with the sellers. So this is a B2B show uh, where we want the transactions to happen. And the response has been equally good in domestic as well as outbound. OTM Mumbai saw the participation of over 1,250 exhibitors across 50 countries and 30 Indian states and union territories, showcasing their destination and tourism offerings. The exhibition was a full house event on two floors at the Geo World Convention Center. The three day travel trade show brought together countries, Indian states, hotels, tour operators, airlines, cruises, and online travel companies all under one roof. It served as an opportunity for the travel trade buyers and visitors to meet suppliers under a single roof. The size and quality of pavilions set up by Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Sri Lanka, Maldives, Azerbaijan, Thailand, Nepal, Korea, Mauritius, Kenya, Bangkok, Israel, Rwanda, Fiji, Cambodia and Seychelles were of highest global standards. Almost all Indian states and union territories, for example, Maharashtra, Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, Goa, Kerala, Karnataka, Jammu and Kashmir, Odisha, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Punjab, Delhi, Telangana, Meghalaya also showcased their best in order to explore the surge in domestic tourism in these post-pandemic times. All the countries and states had private stakeholders selling their destinations within their beautiful pavilions. OTM hosted VIP buyers from all over India, the who's who of the travel industry. 30,000 plus quality travel trade visitors attended the show after being screened through a registration process. The event also hosted interesting fireside chats and panel discussions that shed light on the Indian and the global travel and tourism industry. OTM emerges as the clear leader among travel trade shows in Asia as confirmed by a poll conducted just after the show. The quality of the show, venue and the exhibits were acclaimed world class.
we believe that um, OTM has a place and we need to be here to continue to grow the awareness and, and, and showcase the uh, showcase as much as Qatar and meet our partners uh, face to face. So yeah, we'll continue to be um, you know very much uh, committed to the show. As a tourism board and also as TTDC, it's important to interact with various tourism organizations, various B2B players, make deals and also a lot of customers come here. So we should showcase our destination, we should showcase our offering. So this is an excellent platform to do that. We've been returning to OTM because the feedback we receive from our partners has been amazing uh, and uh, we will keep uh, doing so. Every year I see uh, you know, the participation level going higher and higher and the quality of networking, quality of meetings here is absolutely top notch. The event was inaugurated by His Excellency Dr. Saleh Eid Al Husseini, Ambassador Royal Embassy of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Dr. Abdullah Mossoum, Tourism Minister of Maldives, and other high dignitaries from around the world of travel, which was followed by a walk around and meet and greet with the exhibitors. Sanjeev Agarwal, Chairman and CEO of Fairfest Media Limited, delivered the welcome address for the inaugural session of OTM 2023. The rise of domestic tourism in India has been uh, the most remarkable story all of you are aware of. Uh, this is what kept the wheels of tourism rolling even during the pandemic and uh, after the pandemic. And uh, Indians traveling within India is a great phenomena uh, which everyone is recognizing. And so there is a healthy competition between countries and Indian states to pull the Indian tourists to their respective states or countries. And uh, many would say that this is like uh, India is, could be new China, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to OTM Mumbai. Jyoti Mayal, President, Travel Agents Association of India, shared her thoughts and emphasized on the significance of the tourism industry in the nation's economic growth. Tourism is the most vibrant, evolving sector. And we all know what it is about. It's only about connect. So why is it very important? Because it drives, obviously, our infrastructure, the economics, and of course, it gives us maximum employment. Chief guest Dr. Abdullah Mossoum, Tourism Minister of Maldives, praised the show for its quality and size, as well as spoke about Maldives' goal of achieving net zero by 2030. I'm really happy that uh, OTM this time is bigger than last time, and I'm sure the next edition is go going to be even bigger and uh, more engagement, new travels are coming, we are embarking on our next generation tourism and our main focus is on Maldives becoming the most sustainable tourism destination of the world. And uh, our president has set the environment target of making Maldives net zero by 2030. Following that, the Saudi Tourism Authority gave a keynote presentation about exploring and promoting Saudi Arabia's untouched beauty as well as the strategic importance of Saudi tourism development in promoting tourism in India with an ambitious vision. Skift Speedin Doma Bhutia and Varsha Arora gave a detailed presentation on Skift Mega Trends in Travel 2023 report, which forecasted top trends that will define the travel industry in the coming year. This was the first time Skift presented its Mega Trends report in India. India is going to be the new China in the reordering of Asia travel. We've seen the Indian outbound travel industry has great potential. And we know for sure that, you know, India has become the second largest source market for Singapore, the largest source market for Maldives and for Thailand and for other destinations as well. And once these visa issues and everything and airline capacity comes back, visa issues are resolved. We are sure that, you know, India is going to be very bullish as we know that there is the future of travel rests with India. Several countries had set up large, colourful pavilions. Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Sri Lanka, Maldives, Azerbaijan, Thailand, Nepal, Korea, Mauritius, Kenya, Bangkok, Israel, Rwanda, Fiji, 
Cambodia and Seychelles, all of them had set up stunning pavilions and were flooded with enquiries and business meetings. We made some genuine buyers and you know we had a lot of inquiries. Our team is very happy so we are looking forward to repeat our presence with OTM. Currently Azerbaijan Airlines is flying to Delhi which is about a four and a half hours flight which is actually uh, good for, an, uh, for a long weekend. You can get an e-visa e within three hours um, or within three days. So a uh, very affordable destination, uh, affordable luxury, um, a, a perfect mix of uh, Europe and uh, uh, Europe and Asia. Fiji is not like any other tropical destination. It's still very lush. We have about 333 islands that you can come and discover. But the one thing you will always remember when you leave Fiji is the friendliness of the people. So you can come, we have world-class facilities, right? But when you leave, you will leave remembering that you have left your family in Fiji. So you enter as a visitor, but you return as a friend. We really uh, believe that uh, Indian tourists would find all they have, all they want to have in Rwanda. We have safaris, we have the, the famous uh, uh, mountain gorillas. Uh, it's a lifetime experience. In an interesting panel, tourism authorities from different countries discussed the topic key challenges and opportunities in the emerging new world order post-pandemic and how these tourism boards are adapting to them. There was a panel discussion focusing on the next billion, understanding what Indian travellers want. Being the youngest population today in the world, a need for a traveller which is young, less than 25, is very different than somebody who's 50. So I think we were trying to address that both in the offline and online world, which I think was a very interesting session and I'm sure India is going to be a leader in the outbound space. We have uh, more than 65% people who are less than 30 years of age. That gives us opportunity you know, to look at people who are interested in starting something in travel building a business uh, which can give more opportunity for uh, you know other uh, uh, you know youngsters to get uh, employed also it gives opportunity to uh, travel companies to find more travelers to travel not just in india but outside as well so we see that this as a huge opportunity for india for the next decade to come influencers gaurav taneja and ritu rathi with a great social media following shared their uncut story <laughs> Locals at OTM 2023 was a star studded conversation among industry leaders from the film fraternity on bringing global destinations to Indian cinema, followed by presentations from the representatives and spokesperson of Saudi Arabia, Maldives, and Argentina, who outlined their incentive schemes and infrastructure for filmmakers to shoot in their country. Bollywood is now not, is very run by professionals, CFOs, CEOs our young kids on the block. And that's why the need to be a catalyst in a very scientific manner, in a very structured manner, get the production houses to meet tourism boards or consulates. Because the demand is on both sides. The consulates and the tourism boards want Indian films to come and shoot. The filmmakers want different locations. But it requires a, a platform which is honest and very structured. Credibility is a very important thing because there's a lot of information available all over the internet. But to meet up with the right people, whether it's ambassadors or film commission heads, and get the right pictures, I think very, very important. Argentina has um, a lot of outstanding landscapes that can be um, amazing sets and locations. And that is what we want to show here in Cine Local. We as producers always are on the outlook uh, to kind of explore new locations and uh, 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 a platform like Cine Locales actually provides us that that opportunity to go out, interact, see things uh, which we have not seen in the past as far as uh, shooting opportunities are concerned in these particular countries, cities, towns, wherever they are. We will take a short break but on the other side we have for you pavilions showcasing India's diverse travel and tourism offerings and some more interesting panel discussions. OTM, the leading travel show in Asia. OTM, the leading travel show in Asia. Welcome back. You're watching our special show on OTM, the leading travel trade show of Asia, held at the Geo World Convention Center in Mumbai. <laughs>
Domestic pavilions at OTM were from Maharashtra, Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, Goa, Kerala, Karnataka, Jammu and Kashmir, Odisha, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Punjab, Delhi, Telangana, Meghalaya. The Indian pavilions received a resoundingly positive response from the visitors, attracting tens of thousands of travel trade buyers and tour organizers to their pavilion. The Union Territory Government of Jammu and Kashmir and the JNK Tourism Department uh, is always looking forward to such mutually beneficial partnerships. Destination presentations were made by senior officials from Bihar Tourism and Punjab Tourism. There is ecotourism here. You'll find the glass bridge, one of its kind in India. The glass bridge uh, in the nature safari in Rajgir. You'll find the zoo safari. You can see lions and tigers there. And then you'll find the VTR, Valmiki Tiger Reserve, which is home to more than 50 tigers at one place. So apart from spiritual elevation, you can see ecotourism flourishing here. There's a lot uh, there in, in the state of Punjab to see, other than that of just Golden Temple and maybe the Atara Vaga Parade. It's not just Amritsar, there are a lot of other districts which have, for example, Ropar and Kapoorthala and Jalandhar, which have many, many good things to offer. Preparing for mice in an uncertain world was the topic of the next session. A very, very high quality, focused, collaborative OTM that has brought up to brought together many, many partner friends. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm quite hopeful looking at the energy in the room and the positive vibes uh, that OTM will sort of spur a lot of travel interest. There was a session on the trends that will shape the Indian hospitality industry in 2023. As a cruise company, Indian cruise company, we're extremely proud to be here and uh, continue our drive to grow the industry. And uh, we would love to see a lot of happy families and guests and corporates and weddings experience the cruise destination as we created a cruise, cruising company for Indians to experience their own country and their own coastline. Top wedding planners and event managers discuss destination branding and wedding tourism around the world post-pandemic in a session called Wedding Sutra Engage. Whenever a, a high-profile Indian wedding happens uh, in an international destination, there's Indian culture which is seen there, there's a lot of uh, interest in seeing all that happens in a three-day wedding. And for a lot of guests, uh, who are very, very happy to travel to a new destination for a wedding. Post-COVID, we have realized that uh, there are a lot of new uh, tourism boards and countries that are offering great, great plans and great hotels uh, are on the table, you know, which gives us a, 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 a huge tray to offer to uh, our clients. Leading wedding planners also shared their insights on the importance of wedding venue marketing in the second session of Wedding Sutra Engage. With Indian weddings, it's all about hospitality, all about good food, all about great service. So your focus points have to make sure that if you got to be a wedding friendly property, you got to make sure that your food is on point. You got to make sure that your hospitality is on point. You got to make sure that you network with the right kind of people to get the right kind of business in. The role of online travel in India's big travel resurgence was the topic of the next session. Selection of products, accessibility and affordability is one key criteria and that uh, only digital and online can do. Uh, in, today's, in today's environment, digital discovery is the first point that a consumer looks at when he uh, decides to take a holiday. How India is the new China in the reordering of Asia travel was the topic of the next panel discussion. Early days when we used to take group outside, there was no respect and many hotels never used to take Indians there. And now I see that there is an acceptability from Europe, USA and the rest of the world. They are welcoming Indian tourists there. So I see a lot of potential there. OTM 2023 at the Geo World Convention Centre was a huge success and proved and was hailed by all as unarguably the top travel trade exhibition, not only in India, but in the whole of Asia. OTM Mumbai's next annual edition will be from 8th to 10th February 2024 at the Geo World Convention Centre. 
OTM 2024 will be even bigger with over 1,500 exhibitors from across the globe. It will be the ultimate platform for global and Indian destinations, travel agents, tour operators, hoteliers, airlines, cruise lines, destination management companies and other travel related businesses to showcase their products. So make sure that you don't miss out on OTM 2024. OTM 2023 was a huge success. Over the three days, more than 30,000 travel trade visitors from all over the world attended the show. Exhibitors stated it is critical for them to participate in OTM every year as it provides just the right target audience for them in the right settings. So clearly, OTM is an event that cannot be missed by those in travel business. On that note, we conclude our special episode on OTM, the leading travel trade show of Asia. Don't miss out on the show's next edition on 8th to 10th of February 2024. I'm your host Radhika Sinha. Keep watching CNBC TV 18. OTM, the leading travel show in Asia. Focus, ideate, innovate, enable.